Hey everyone, this is Hurst Quasar. Welcome, YouTubers. Welcome back to another episode of Comic Cake Simulator 2018. We are doing the Fast and Furious series. Uh, if you like the series so far, please hit the like button down below, subscribe, and uh, always get notified of when I put out some new content. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since I've put out anything, and it's because I've been on vacation, so I'm um, starting to ramp things back up. I've got a few things I had to do over the Memorial Day weekend, but um, I'm trying to get some things done and trying to get some more videos recorded. Um, so we are up to the Fast Five, where our gang, uh, Brian O'Connor and his girlfriend Mia Toretto, um, after breaking Dom out from the bus, has uh they've all started congregating down rio de janeiro so uh we're just going to take three of the cars that uh from the fast five because there are you, know, you do have the charger uh the new style chargers that are in there uh one for the police cars and for the uh two cars that pulled the uh heist uh pulling the bank vault but um they want to concentrate on just these three cars right now so uh as you can tell, I've got the Brand O'Connor Skyline up on the lift right now. I've got to retire off it. There's a reason for that. Um, the GT, the GT 30, 40, GT 40, the GT 40 that Mia uh, takes off the train. Yeah, yeah, the one that gets stripped down too. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna work on that one. And then we have uh, the Papa Smurf uh, uh, GTS Porsche. So let's get to it. Um, I have taken the liberty to start building the engine over there for this vehicle, but uh, it's not complete yet. Like I said, I've been real, real busy, and I have been trying to get things done. So I'll have to admit, this skyline that Brian drives at the very beginning of the movie is probably one is another favorite of mine and I didn't know I was a fan of this car until I saw him driving it and just kind of checked out the whole style of the car um, I, I actually really like it um, didn't think I was gonna be a fan oh there's a fuel tank there okay I'll get that later um, this is my first build and of this car I this swear to you this is the first I found it in the junkyard I pulled it in for this series and it's the first time I've ever overhauled one so that's why I was a little taken back by that fuel tank up there but hey it's all right we'll get through it so how's everyone been doing I know it's been uh, it's been a while like I said it's been a couple weeks I have been busy uh, spent the last couple weeks touring uh, Barcelona and was uh, took a cruise did Sicily Villafranche France uh, uh, Corfu Core Tour uh, just a lot of places and then we ended up in Venice and honestly I didn't think I was going to like Venice but uh, yeah, Venice is pretty cool so if you guys ever have a chance to go to visit us Venice feel free it is an awesome city to get lost in <laughs> no doubt so let's see here I gotta get all that where is that it has to be where does it say I gotta take that off of uh, I gotta take the fuel pump out that's why ah! that makes all the difference in the world right what can we repair? <clears throat> ah, a few pieces got jammed up, but it's all good. All right, we have. Uh, we're gonna have to buy some springs, definitely. Um, I've already got the wheels and tires for this, so we are going to dump those right out of there. So this is, uh, like I said, um, I don't think that's mentioned, but this is Gollywog's uh, Skyline. Um, he's got it labeled as a 2000 GT-R. Um, this is, you know, 
like I said, one of the, my favorite ones of the skylines. Just I, I, and I don't know why. I just just the way it looks. Uh, let's see here. Let's stop fooling around. Let's get to work here. I think I needed a brake shoe or a cylinder on that. I wasn't sure which. What did I need? Oh my goodness. I am starting off well. Yeah, I didn't need a pad, but I did need that. Okay, so. Ooh, we are looking for a rear end. Let's go ahead and mount up these tires. Um, you're going to see what I got here. Yes, I am throwing a set of 18s on the back of this beast. And I've painted them metallic black. Oh, yeah. Uh, blasphemy. Yes, I know. Shock bees, a rear end. Springs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two of those. Two of those. Two of those. Two of those. Where is my rear end? There we go. Um. Oh, I know what I needed. I'm gonna need these too, because you know that's the one piece you would think would repair, but they don't really repair that well. Need a fuel tank too. Uh, oh, I got. I needed a coil spring rear end. I kind of blew the budget already on that, didn't I? Okay, those are the only two pieces that uh, got repaired. So let's get ourselves a control arm. One of those. I need a coil spring rear end. So that should be sufficient. Yeah, so I'm running a set of 255-40s on the back of this puppy. Uh, I need a fuel tank and I am going to put uh, ooh was it B or C I do not know it was B ah uh, it's not what I wanted to do so let's pick up fuel tank B, we'll jump over to the performance parts, and let's pick up that fuel pump, like we always do. Uh, looks like there might be a few more performance parts in here, yeah. Looking like it. Um, so yeah, while I was away, we had the um, Dodge uh, DLC, the Dodge Ram DLC come out. Um, that was cool. <laughs> I didn't get to download it till I got back. And then there was an update as well that I had to download. I also ran a file integrity check. Um, if you'd like to do that, please check out my, my other video. I'll, I'll throw it up in a the corner there. Um, just to uh, make sure I had all my files were right. And luckily enough... Uh, either from the update or from the download um, I had a file that was wrong so uh, don't know what file it was but uh, I'm good uh, glad I was able to catch that and not cause any problems with the game especially while I'm doing something like this this is always always a problem yeah, I know these aren't the wheels and tires that actually went on it. Um, these are actually the closest things I could find. Um, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, I'm sure you guys are out there going, Oh, man, you could have used a, you know, some other some other rim setup. But that's, you know, that's fine. To each his own. Um, if you have a nice build, you know, throw me a line over on the Facebook page. Let me know. Let me see what your build looks like. I've said in a few videos, a lot of great people over there on the Facebook page. Um, a lot of people are amped up about the console coming out. Coming out soon. 
Um, good for you guys. Uh, it's not for me. I will not be doing a console version. The PC version is good enough for me. So... I haven't read up too much. I've been a little behind because I have been away. Uh, don't know what else is happening within the community. And I don't have a tire because I left it over here. It's balanced though. And ready to go. Alright, those look pretty sweet. Alright. I'm telling you what, this, this is... Ooh. Catalyst Converter too. Oh yeah, this is going to be an awesome build. Um, from the engine bay. Go figure. For, I keep forgetting about that. All right, let's see. We got an engine cover in here. It comes out, and then we can get at starter. Let's go ahead and get that off. Um, we need to remove manifolds on this particular one that way we can yank the engine out there we go and voila I can take the transmission out take the rest of this exhaust system out Make myself some room for the front suspension. Alright. And we have... We have separation. Ah, uh, let me get over here. There we go. So unfortunately with this card, we only get to see just... We just get to see a brief uh, part of this car in the very beginning. Uh, I should say in the beginning of Fast Five as they're uh, driving through Rio de Janeiro um, trying to find one of their colleagues uh, from the one of the first the Fast and Furious the very first movie um, I believe his name is Vince um, it was the guy that Brian was always uh, catching heated conversations with because uh, Vince liked Mia, you know, Brian likes Mia, you know, a couple of alpha males fighting over a girl. You know how it goes. Right? Right. So, so, if you remember in the first movie, he gets shot with a shotgun from a truck driver. Um, and that's, you know, that's when Dom finds out Brian was a cop, is at that point. So Vince is all fixed up. He is in Rio de Janeiro. He meets up with a girl, has a son, um, and um, Brian and Mia happen to catch up with him, and they happen to do a job um, that Vince lines up. But that's you know this is the only time you see the cars. You know when they're driving around Rio de Janeiro, trying to find Vince. Car doesn't get car doesn't get any more respect, boy. I tell you what, it needs needed to be a little bit need to be needed to have a little bit more of a needed to have a little more movie time, in my opinion. All right, so that engine can be pulled out. We'll go ahead and yank that engine out right now. Engine is pulled. Oof. This car's in bad shape. Um, but I can go ahead and uh, pull that out, pull that out, pull that out. I think that's all that's in there, right? Yeah. Let's do a battery replacement program. And let's see how many pieces we can repair here. Alright. 
That sounded horrible. So what did we get out of this? Uh, absolutely hardly anything. So we need a cylinder. Uh, we need at least a cylinder. Uh, a couple of ventilated discs, a couple of pads, and I saw that the power booster was shot on that as well. I call it a power booster because that's what I'm used to it being. Um, call it a servo here for whatever reason. I, 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 hell, I don't know. Uh, miscellaneous parts here. Front axle cover. We can get rid of that. Don't need that. Ooh, my cross member is shot. So, a CB. Okay, front axle. Okay, cross member C. Phrase sway bar. Always inner and outer tie rod ends. Um, going to need these shocks, so let's get a couple of these. A couple of these. A couple of those. Uh, rubber bushings, I think I need eight of those. So I'll pick those up while I'm in here. Always need wheel bearings and caps. Uh, oh, I think I need, uh, I think they're A-Links. Man, I'm probably totally wrong on that, but that's all right. I'm also needing to set up the front wheels, which I haven't quite figured out the size of those yet. So you are going to take that journey with me. Yes, they were A-Links. I hit them right. Alright, so what's on the front of this puppy is 15s. I put 18s in the rear, which look extremely well. So I think I'm going to go with a set of 17s. Um, on the front, same tire size, I believe. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, sounds like a plan. So let's get two of these at 17 inch. And then I'm gonna go with the uh, race tire, 17s. These will be the 255s as well, but because they are a 17 inch it's going to be a little narrower um, I believe I'm going to go with the 40 with that as well uh, I think that should work I'm hoping so paint the rims up um, no I'm not going to paint the engine cover but uh, thanks anyway uh, metallic black is fine. Actually, the car is, itself is going to end up being a flat black, I believe, but it gives the uh, wheel at least a little bit of... Uh, makes the wheel stand out a little bit better from the car. So, um, so I can throw the battery in, servo in. Did the radiator get... F no, the radiator. Radiator was crap. Go figure. Hey! Got lucky I spilled it right that time. Alright, so that's all done. Up, up, and away. Yeah, this car wasn't too bad. I didn't find it in the junkyard. I, I made that mistake. Uh, I think I said that's where I found it. Um, if I did, um, I actually bought it from an auction. don't remember the price I paid on it. Uh, been a lot of cars. A lot of cars. Constantly looking for cars for the series. and 
I'll be honest, I have forgotten everything that I've paid for these cars. I just find something that I will like, and then I go with it. Uh, that goes on there. Uh, oh, I need to put the sway bar on. Outer tie rod end. A link. I have not mounted a balance of my tires, have I? Huh. I'll get there. Get this all set up. We'll swing back there real quick. Alright. Let's waltz on over to the other side here. Yeah, whew. It's been a while since I've done this. Being away from gaming for a little bit has uh, gotten me got me a little loopy here. Now I will tell you, traveling that far, uh, six it's a six hour time difference. Okay, from um, where I'm at, you know, you know, I, I live in Ohio, so it's a six hour time difference between Ohio and Venice, and we flew into Barcelona, so that was wasn't too terribly bad. Uh, had to take a red eye over, but uh, wow, um, we were kind of groggy for a couple of days. You know, you get kind of foggy, you get that jet lag. Um, usually, it's not too bad coming home, but uh, this time around, I have been uh, a little out of it. I've, been a little out of sorts. Let's see, is that going to work for the front for the 40, I believe? Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, so for the engine over here, I don't have the carbs. So let's hook that up real quick. Um, going to the performance shop. With the carbs, uh, I need three of these bad boys right here. Um, going to need the exhaust. Exhaust manifold for the I6B. Two of these. Um, the Sebring I6, we get that out of the way. Um, let's go ahead and get the rear wheel drive I6 beast or is it an I4? <laughs> I think it's an I4 rear wheel drive on this puppy. Funny as it is. This is the one engine that got me you know, just about every time. Let's see how this front wheel looks. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Might go with a smaller profile on that. Um, hmm. Maybe I should have went with a 35 on that one. Uh, let me get the filters here real quick. These need to be, wait a minute, aren't they in the performance shop too? Thought they were. See, I have not played this game in a while. And I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, yeah, right there. I am an idiot. Been a, been a while, like I said. Nope. You can make these tricolor. That would be kind of wild. 
Alright, so that engine is done as far as I am concerned. I am wondering about that front wheel. I think we'll be alright. I think we are good. I think I'm not going to sweat it that much. Wrong. Did I not take it off of there? Oh man. What the heck? Take this off. Put her in. Yeah, get you out of the way. Um, can I? I don't know. Transmission, drive shaft, drive shaft, good, yeah, good deal. Don't know if I was able to fix the starter, I guess I'll find out here in a minute. Uh, exhaust section, there we go. Starter good? Ho oh, oh, ho yeah, sweetness. Alright. Put the engine cover back on it. Yeah, it works good for me. And I need to put the exhaust manifolds on. No, I don't want those. I want the I want the high performance ones. This these this car is a go fast machine. It really needs these kind of parts. All right, so that is good. Um, <clears throat> I needed uh, exhaust, needed a catalytic converter, and I needed a, I think I needed a rear muffler and a middle muffler, right? I don't know about the middle muffler. Hmm. Hmm. All right, where'd you hide it? Middle muffler. What? There it is. Yep, see, I've got new pieces with the new download. I've got new pieces, so. Got a converter, middle muffler, and all right, my exhaust system is in one piece. Clear out my inventory here. I don't think I need any of that. Alright, time to strip her down. Let's see what I can get rebuilt on here. Front end, front clamshell. Tearing her down, stripping it down to parade rest here. I think that's it, right? Get the welder over here. And interior cleaner. I think it is already a flat black. Sweet. Alright, uh, take the interior out. Um, what do we have for an interior? 
RX3 seats. So we'll go ahead and pick up ourselves up a set of RX3 seats. Uh, RX3. Get a couple of those. And a decent steering wheel. Let's see how many body pieces. Oh. Don't know what I was able to repair, but we'll find out. Hood's in good shape. Fender, yes. Doing well. Oh, mirror is out of here. Front end, good. It like good. Clamshell good. Alright. You're looking sweet here. Um, all the glass needs to be replaced, so I'm not worried about that. Ah. This has a spoiler on the back of it? Um, yeah, so I need the mirrors, ah, oh. I didn't even realize I had a rear clamshell, that sucker's going on, alright, so I need a left side mirror, alright, let's see if because I've got skylines out the wazoo in here. Um, hopefully, I can narrow this down. Uh, skyline 2000. Yes. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Door, door, all the glass. Oh man, there's a whole lot of options here. Um, need a left mirror. Yeah, this puppy has a whole lot of options. I'm hoping that, like I said, this is the first time I've done this one, so. I'm actually hoping that's good to go. Yeah, these, it didn't have the tinted windows in it before, but uh, I'm putting tinted windows in. You're driving around Rio de Janeiro. You do not want those guys to see you. So, you know, hey, plus the sun's hot, right? Don't mind me, I just popped into the car a little bit. All right, I think that about does it. Um, I don't have a 100%, percent 100%, 93. Uh, what am I missing? Front and rear license plate. Okay. Um, and oil. <laughs> you thought I forgot the oil, didn't you? <laughs> I fooled you. license plate what are we going to do people uh, I don't think they have Rio de Janeiro in here Rhode Island Romania Russia nope no Rio uh, that's all right we'll pretend it was a California car how's that I'll just put Skyline. Um, I 
I just put a couple of them on it just to raise the value of the car. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, these plates. All right. We are golden. We are a hundred percent. And we'll run her through the dyno and um, I don't think I need to paint her up. She looks like she's in pretty good shape the way she is. Nice power gains, but I tell you, it's still. <laughs> I still think they suck for the Sunline 6. Of all of the performance parts you, that I've put on there, and it's all of them, um, you really don't get a good gain out of it. I'm really surprised. Alright, so there you have it. Um, as I bang my knee on the door trying to get out of there. Oh, and on the Porsche. Um, there you have it. The Nissan Skyline. Of Brian O'Connor's and driving around in Rio de Janeiro. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come back often. Join us over on Facebook. I'm happy to be back in the saddle getting these things done. So for now, this is Hurst Quasar. I am out.